step back into the rugged landscapes of the American West with the timeless television series that became a trailblazer in the realm of Western dramas. Gunsmoke, a staple of 1950s television, captured the hearts of viewers with its gritty portrayal of life on the frontier. Before we delve into the dusty trails of Dodge City, have you ever uncovered lesser known facts or anecdotes about this iconic series that left you intrigued? Alternatively, is there a particular scene or moment that lingers in your memory, a testament to the lasting impact this show had on its audience? Now, let's saddle up for a journey through some captivating tidbits about Gunsmoke. The series, known for its record-setting longevity, ran for an impressive two decades, etching its mark on television history. Did you know that it began as a radio show in the early 1950s before transitioning to the small screen in 1955? This shift marked the start of an enduring legacy that would resonate with audiences for generations. As you recall your own cherished memories of watching Gunsmoke, we invite you to share your experiences in the comments below. What scenes or characters left an indelible mark on your Western loving heart? We'd love to hear your stories and memories. So, whether you're a seasoned fan or a newcomer to the rugged tales of Dodge City, join us in celebrating the enduring allure of Gunsmoke. Your stories await. Gunsmoke, a trailblazing television series that first hit the airwaves in the mid-1950s, emerged as a pioneering force in the realm of Western dramas. Developed from a popular radio show of the same name, it found its televised home on CBS and went on to become one of the longest-running and most beloved shows in the history of American television. The series, set in the rugged town of Dodge City, Kansas, during the post-Civil War era, unfurled the tales of Marshal Matt Dillon, a stoic lawman embodying justice in an untamed frontier. James Arnest portrayed Dillon, endowing the character with an indelible presence. The show's narrative threads intertwined the complexities of frontier life, morality, and the struggle for order in a lawless land. Complemented by a memorable cast, including Doc Adams and Miss Kitty, Gunsmoke encapsulated the essence of the Wild West with its gritty realism and nuanced storytelling. Its unique blend of action, drama, and character-driven plots set it apart, influencing the trajectory of television storytelling for years to come. The series etched its mark on popular culture, leaving an enduring legacy that resonates even in the modern era, exemplifying the enduring allure of tales spun under the vast prairie sky. James Arnes initially hesitated to take on the role of Marshal Matt Dillon in the iconic TV series. Despite industry warnings about potential harm to his movie career, a conversation with his friend, John Wayne, swayed his decision. Arnes embraced the character, becoming a cornerstone of Gunsmoke's success. The show's dynamic cast also saw changes, with Dennis Weaver's departure leading to the introduction of Ken Curtis as Festus Hagen, a move suggested by director Andrew V. McLaglen. These behind-the-scenes decisions played a pivotal role in shaping the enduring legacy of the series, illustrating the delicate balance between career choices and the impact on television history. In a surprising turn of events, CBS president William Paley played a pivotal role in the fate of the iconic TV series. Facing cancellation in 1967 due to low ratings, Paley, a devoted fan, intervened. He shifted the show from series to Mondays, strategically placing it back in Nielsen's top 10. This strategic move not only saved the show but also solidified its enduring presence in American television history. Interestingly, the casting of the show's lead, Marshal Matt Dillon, could have taken a different route. Denver Pyle and Raymond Burr were initially considered for the role, adding a layer of intrigue to the series' early development. Although Pyle eventually made appearances as different characters in multiple episodes, the casting of James Arness as Dillon became synonymous with the show's success. Amidst its 20-season run, Gunsmoke faced a unique challenge, the potential stagnation of its narrative. During intervals when the writing crew found themselves running low on fresh ideas, a decisive move was made. The entire writing crew was replaced, preventing the show from falling into repetitive patterns and ensuring its continued relevance. This behind-the-scenes maneuvering, be it Paley's strategic scheduling or the deliberate changes in the writing team, exemplifies the dynamic decisions that shaped Gunsmoke's longevity. From the brink of cancellation to a strategic scheduling change, and the foresight to refresh the creative direction, Gunsmoke navigated the challenges of television production, leaving an indelible mark on the landscape of American TV. 
In its extensive run, Gunsmoke witnessed intriguing behind-the-scenes decisions that shaped its characters and narrative. Notably, after 16 seasons, Milburn Stone, who portrayed Doc Adams, was given the authority to choose Doc's first name. Opting for Galen, a nod to an ancient Greek physician, Stone's decision added a layer of depth to the character. In a peculiar twist, the name was subtly acknowledged in Season 10, Episode 21, Song for Dying, when Theodore Bickle's character addressed Doc Adams as Galen. As the series evolved, characters faced challenges both on and off-screen. Dennis Weaver, who portrayed Chester, expressed regret about giving his character a limp. Weaver hadn't anticipated the practical difficulties this choice would bring, acknowledging the ongoing effort to incorporate the limp convincingly into Chester's actions. The series concluded with memorable moments, one being the fate of Gary Busey's character, Harv Daly. Notably, Daly became the last character killed on the show, marking a poignant end to Gunsmoke's narrative. These subtle yet impactful decisions, from character names to the challenges faced by actors, highlight the intricate dynamics that contributed to the lasting legacy of this iconic TV series. Gunsmoke, a TV series that etched its mark on American television, had its roots in a radio show created by John Meston and Norman MacDonald in 1952. The radio series, lasting until 1961, paved the way for the television adaptation in the mid-1950s. Adaptations of Meston's radio scripts formed the early episodes, showcasing the series' transition from radio to television. This evolution reflected the creator's commitment to crafting compelling narratives that stood the test of time. One intriguing aspect, often overshadowed by the show's iconic characters, is the evolution of Miss Kitty Russell. Originally portrayed as a madam in the radio series, early hints in the TV adaptation alluded to this characterization. However, as the show progressed, the decision was made to shift away from these references, transforming Miss Kitty into a more family-friendly figure a lady saloon owner. This strategic choice underscores the series' adaptability and commitment to engaging a broader audience. Beyond character dynamics, the series' longevity also stems from the meticulous decisions behind the scenes. In its 20 seasons, Gunsmoke faced challenges that could have led to its demise. Yet, a decisive move by CBS president William Paley in 1967, strategically shifting the show's schedule, not only saved it from cancellation, but also secured its place in Nielsen's top 10. These strategic maneuvers, from scheduling changes to dynamic casting decisions, played a crucial role in shaping the enduring legacy of this iconic series. As we delve into the complexities of Gunsmoke, it's fascinating to note that Matt Dillon, the stoic lawman, shared a rare moment of vulnerability. In a memorable episode, Matt's love story spanning the series' 20 seasons, Matt Dillon kissed only one lady Michael learned of the Waltons' fame. This nuanced portrayal adds a layer of depth to Dylan's character and showcases the series' ability to balance gritty realism with occasional moments of tenderness. In summary, Gunsmoke transcends its origins as a radio series, navigating challenges and adapting to the evolving landscape of television. From character transformations to strategic decisions behind the scenes, the series remains a testament to the enduring power of well-crafted storytelling in the realm of American television. As we ride into the sunset of this conversation, let the dust settle and the echoes of Gunsmoke linger in the canyons of your mind. The crackling fires of Dodge City may have dimmed on screen, but the embers of its legacy still burn bright within us. Think back to the moments when Marshall Dillon's unwavering sense of justice echoed in your living room. Can you feel the prairie wind whispering tales of Matt, Kitty, and the sprawling Kansas landscapes? It's more than a TV show, it's a journey through the untamed territories of our imagination. As you mosey through the recesses of your memories, consider the characters who became companions, the stories that etched themselves into your heart, and the lessons that transcended the black and white hues of the screen. Gunsmoke isn't just a show, it's a tapestry woven with threads of courage, camaraderie, and the ever-changing frontier of human spirit. Now, dear friend, it's your turn to be the storyteller. Share the campfire tales of your favorite Gunsmoke moments. Did Festus' quirks tickle your funny bone, or did Doc's wisdom resonate with your soul? Maybe there's a scene that branded itself onto your consciousness like a cattle iron on the open range. Whether it's a cherished memory or a profound realization, let your thoughts gallop freely. 
The Wild West may be a bygone era, but the spirit of Gunsmoke lives on in the narratives we weave and the connections we forge. Thank you for saddling up with me on this journey through the heartlands of nostalgia. Your stories are the trails that lead us back to the essence of Gunsmoke, where legends never fade. Yours in the spirit of the Old West.